Stevenson falls to Gettysburg tonight, 10-5. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden with Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, I know there's a few issues that we'll address during this, but one that jumps out at me, you faced a goalie who made 18 saves. How much of that was on him? How much of that was on your shot selection? Uh, well, I, you know, I think we took some shots that probably weren't the best, but we had some really quality shots, especially early on and in the third quarter. And, uh, you know, he made the saves. You know, 18, we only had seven, and they only, you know, it's tough to lose when you, you only, uh, to a team that only takes 24 shots all game. And, you know, so uh, we got to do a little bit better job there. But I thought they were just a little more tougher than us, and I thought they wanted a little bit more, and I thought, uh, you know, our ground ball play was um, – uh, not well, so we got to do a lot better at that aspect. But um, and we got to play harder. I just didn't think we played as uh, as hard as we did the first couple games. That's for, for sure. It started out well. Started out with the two nothing lead. Uh, one issue was definitely your extra man offense tonight. Yeah, I mean, we started off too. Not the beginning of a game. It's a long game, so it doesn't really matter how you start off. It's how you finish, and so we got to do a much better job mm-hmm. on the man up situation. And uh, you know, we had plenty of opportunities to do that. And uh, but you know, we were good that a week ago, and I thought our guys were feeling a little too good about themselves. You know, you win one game, you know, that's what our problem. Got to get better and better as we go along, and uh, they got to show a little more fire. That's for sure. You know, especially our younger kids. I thought we played like freshmen today. It was just not a day that I mean, we didn't. You know, just we we're just a little disorganized all together, and we got to coach them better. That's for sure. We saw some different things at the uh, face-off dot in the fourth quarter. Put a couple guys out there, give them some burst looks. What's the strategy moving forward? Well, I, know, I think Shiloh will be fine. I think he, he can do better. Our wing play was not good today. I thought they kind of bullied us. Their two poles are pretty good. They do a really good job of that. And I, th- I didn't think we competed very well until we put two poles out there and kind of combat them a little bit. Shiloh will be just fine. We just had to give him a different look, and it worked for a little while uh, for there. But it wasn't you know really Shiloh's fault. Is that we were just being so bad at the ground balls and picking them up. And I think we got that's something we'll work on a lot today, this week. We were curious about the flag that was thrown when the game ended. Uh, I have no idea what okay. it was. <laughs> right. I mean, really good looking at it. The um, the other thing that sort of jumped out tonight, uh, neither Ethan nor Jake was really able to get going necessarily. They both ended up coming away with a goal there at the end of the game. Was it something they were doing defensively? Um, you know, I think you know Jacob's a little banged up. You know, so he had a couple of games. He's a little banged up and he's pretty sore. And he's, but he's fighting through it. And uh, you know, I think he'll be much better next week. Give him a couple of days rest, and I think he'll be much better next week. And you know, Ethan 35 is a really good defenseman. He's one, you know, his second team All American a year ago. He's probably a first team this year. And uh, Ethan thought, you know, you know, he gave he, when we went at him, and you know, Ethan had some shots that didn't go and. He got one late, and, you know, he's a pretty good defender. But I don't think Ethan was – that was the issue. I think, you know, our other guys, our younger guys had to step up, and we had good shots. And I thought we had a lot of really good shots, and uh, they just didn't go. And the kid ended up with 18 saves to, uh, to our seven, and we only we held them to 24 shots. you think you'd win a game that way, and we should have won a game that way. I just didn't think that, uh, uh, that we um, competed the way we needed to do. Well, it gets no easier, obviously. You head on the road to go take on Christopher Newport yep. this week, and that's why you schedule it like this, right? Yeah, you know, we'll learn. You know, we're learning and how to do things, and obviously we learned <laughs> how to not to play today. But, you know, you learn everything from these things. We'll take a lot of some positives and take some negatives and things we need to work at. But, you know, we got to become do a few things better in order to compete day in and day out. You know, we played two really good teams uh, the first two weeks, two top ten teams, and competed really well. And then, you know, Gettysburg's another. I think, you know, they're going to be just fine. They're a top ten team as well. I think in, in the end they'll be back up there. And, you know, we play a good schedule. And then we play Christopher for Newport and you know we'll get ready for them and then get ready for Frank Little Marshall and then we'll get ready for Denison and then we'll get ready for Lynchburg and then we'll get ready for Salisbury but then we're trying to get ready for the conference and we'll be fine we'll win some of those games and we're competing and I think our guys care they're invested and it just didn't go our way today. Coach appreciate it. Thank you very much. He's Paul Cantabene and this is GoMustangSports.com.